everyone. In this video, I will be talking about three extended violin techniques that I found very challenging and interesting to learn in Beethoven 5th Symphony by Roman Kim. The first technique is Roman Kim's harmonic. The second technique is the thumb technique where you use the thumb to cover some of the notes on G string. And the last one is the double octaves that require you to stretch, stretch pretty hard. So what is Roman Kim harmonic and how to do it? Basically, it's when the note comes out one octave higher than where your finger actually is. So this is a B on A string. Now I'm gonna make it sound like this B on E string, which is one octave higher. By finding a sweet spot on the string with the bow. You can do it with every finger. Now the sweet spot for Roman Kim's harmonic is close to the fingerboard called sutasto. And he uses this technique in passages like these. Now the next technique is the thumb technique where you use the thumb to cover some of the notes on G string, which allows you to play some of the more impossible chords, such as passages like this. Or this. So Roman Kim's thumb looks really flexible and he obviously practiced very hard with it and that's why it's so strong. For me, this is a relatively new technique but I still came up with some exercises to help me practice. So uh, what I did was I put one, two, three on D, A and E respectively so that they don't move and I just fool around with my thumb to play random things. <laughs> just to get used to moving it around. Now the third technique, the double octave, where you have to stretch to cover two octaves at once. I guess three octaves because of the open string. Uh, this is how he used it. It just simply hurts a lot. But just like any other uh, technique on violin that requires stretching, like the tens, you just have to keep doing it uh, bit by bit, and over time, your hand will get used to it. Just like this interval here. time it just gets a little bit easier obviously if it hurts a lot take a break don't push yourself too hard or else you will risk injuring yourself I think the reason why that piece I bring dizzy I bring I bring dizzy is so difficult is because one of the passages is just endless double octaves <laughs> It just hurts a lot and there's a bunch of difficult stuff before and a bunch of difficult stuff after. I just don't know how it's possible to play that piece ever for me. Probably someone would be able to do it but I don't think I will ever be able to do it. Thank you.